Hey everyone, Justin here from Animal Crossing World. I'm here today to give you guys a little tour of the new Pocket Camp uh, Club subscription service that just launched today. Uh, there's been a lot of discourse out there about this, some people hating it, some people who seem to like it, a lot of people are just kind of curious. Um, it doesn't seem to just be people who play Pocket Camp either. I've seen a lot of people who don't even play Pocket Camp, who just heard about it, and kind of intrigued by the idea that Nintendo's adding subscription. What was that like? Is it a ripoff? They're just kind of curious about it. Um, so today, I just want to give everyone a little tour, sort of, of the new service, what it does, exactly what you get, all those good things. Uh, so let's go right into the social menu here. Or, sorry, the little, I don't know what you call it, this menu here. Um, I'm just going to start with the free trial button here. So as you can see, you do get a free trial of one of the plans of the Pocket Camp Club, but there are actually two different plans. Uh, as Isabel will teach us here. Or not. I thought it was gonna... Okay, I guess it's not gonna do much. Anyway, so here are the two plans, as you can see on the screen here. We have the Happy Helper plan, uh, which does have a free trial. Uh, and then we have the Cookie and Depot plan for... Well, it says $10.99, but these are Canadian dollar prices. As I am in Canada, the real USD prices that most of you watching will care about. Uh, it's $2.99 for the Happy Helper and $7.99 for the Cookie and Depot plan. So ignore these prices you see. They're Canadian prices, they don't matter. Um, but you can get a free trial of the Happy Helper plan. So we'll look at that first. Uh, here we go. So basically with this plan, you get to assign a camp caretaker who will um, basically, as the name says, basically help out on your campsite. Um, so this I don't know much about, but it seems that they'll walk around with you. Uh, they'll help at your events. Uh, give you request items. Uh, we're just gonna skim over this because like the whole point of this video is to show it to you So there's no point in me just going over what it says because you could just look at it yourself very easily uh, But basically you get tickets you walk around Greek quests give you items for events and crafting tabs will be shorter. So we're just gonna start the trial here Just gonna do that I'm gonna Pretend I'm reading all this Okay, here we go. I'm going to have to blur some of that out, obviously. Alright, so we are in. We've started the free trial. Good, good. Here's the membership card. Um, let's do that later. I want to also subscribe to the other plan as well because the whole point of this video is to show you guys everything if we just did a trial what's the point you could just go check out the trial yourself what I want to do here is all right here's the other plan this is the cookie and depot plan uh, this plan is basically just you get to pick five cookies every month that you get included uh, what's interesting here as you can see here there's a unique shop you can pick almost everything, not just the currently available ones, or lots of old ones, but I'm curious exactly which ones, so I'll check that out. And you also get access to this warehouse feature, which seems interesting. We'll look into that a little later. But this one's pretty basic, basically. You get five cookies, and you get to store items in the warehouses, and you also get shorter crafting times, but that's not special. So I'm going to go ahead here and sign up for a month of this as well, so I can show it off. Again, it says ten ninety nine. That's Canadian dollars. It is actually seven ninety nine USD. It's gonna wait here for it to do its thing. It's gonna have to blur this out as well. Okay. All right, we're all set. We have now joined the Cookie and Depot plan. Great. Ah, so we get two little medals for each. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're signed up on both plans now, so let's check out all our perks. Uh, so first I want to check out the one we get a free trial for. So let's, uh, we have to be able to choose our third person. So I'm assuming we're going to the club to do that. Wow, I'm really not off to a great start here. 
considering this is the main feature. Sorry guys. I'm like a bit of an idiot here. Probably oh, probably this button here, I would assume. I should have checked that first. Oh, no, okay, well that gets us our 60 leaf tickets. So those are the free 60 leaf tickets. Those come included with the happy helper plan for $2.99. Uh, this is telling us that we get to pick out cookies. Okay, so I guess that's like redeeming our pass to be able to buy the fat cookies. So like every month that this renews, you'd have to click that button, I guess, to redeem your cookies you can get. Anyhow, um, how do we actually... Is it up here? Do we go... No? Okay, maybe we just go and find the villager like in the... Uh... They changed the interface, so I'm feeling a bit of a moron here. Where is, do you get to the list of village? Oh, here we go. It's right here. Okay, who you select as your camp taker. All right, I found it, guys. Here we go. So the camp caretaker will complete requests, collect materials, help us out, even when you're not away. So, I'm assuming we get two, yes, so here we go. So we can pick anyone in this whole list, basically anyone I guess that you've unlocked and invited. I definitely don't have all the villagers, but we have quite a few. Um, I've always been a fan of the penguins, so let's see. We get ourselves a penguin. Hmm. Maybe not a penguin, I don't know. Actually, I want a deer. Where is a deer? Perfect. Alright, we're just gonna go fauna. I know. Basic, but we'll go fauna. I like fauna. I have 750 days on the job. That is concerning. Okay, so fauna's now my camp caretaker. So this is how the feature works. So I guess she does requests while you're here. Not uh, here is the idea. Uh, you get the materials and then she also collects event items. So in this case it looks like that's going to be some gyros and some fish. There's not a fishing event going on right now so I'm confused by that. I guess they just, I guess it's not just event items. I guess they also will just genuinely just get you general fish and bugs and stuff too. That's that's nice, I didn't realize that. That's actually not bad. 30 wood, 37. See, so I don't know how often you get those. That's what we're gonna have to see. For a high five. Oh, okay, and we get a few points with her. So you can use this to level up. Uh, to get your camper a little faster. It's good to know. All right, here's the details. So yeah, one animal can follow you. Can walk with you. Turn it off. When you're not playing, the complete requests. You'll get the items. You can listen to your once every three hours. You can also okay, so it's based on the same cycle as the regular villagers, where they move around every three hours. It's good to know. But you have to check on it at once every 24 hours. It looks like after 24 hours, you're not receive anymore. So you have to be checking on this every 24 hours, and you can do it at least every, once every three hours. And it doesn't really matter, okay. So your friendship level won't go up with them though. They'll also get fish and bugs, that's good. They'll also help out with events. Now let's check out some other things. All right. Let's go see how the walking thing works. Let's go to the island here. All right. Oh, there's 
There she is. Okay, that's that's pretty cute. A little freakishly fast. They look like they're like ice skating. Like to regular around this tree. <laughs> I mean I guess you have to do that so they, they don't get in the way and they keep up with you, but it's kinda of funny looking. Oh, oh and she claps. That's cute too. Does she clap when I pick this up? No no claps for that. Still pretty cute though. Alright. I I dig this. Not bad. Pretty neat. Alright, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so the benefits of this is the happy helper plan basically gets you all this. So for two nine nine she'll oh, can you talk to her? Okay, so I guess that's just the usual dialogue. Although right now it's for the anniversary. Yeah, so basically for two nine nine you get her to go around and follow you if you want that. You get the reports every three hours that give you some items, including event items. You get the 60 leaf tickets every month as well included that I uh, just picked up earlier by accident. Um, and then also the main other thing is reduced crafting times. You get this with both plants. So let's check that out. So let's find a long item that I need to make. Oh, the, oh this gold bed? Mm, that's probably a little bit too much. Let's check that out though. So it's lowered it from 72 hours down to 45 hours. So that's quite interesting. So it's a little more than 24 hours knocked off. Um, again, as it says though, supposedly this changes based on when you started playing the game, which started makes it sound like it's like a reward for early players. I think it's more just how long, how many days since you started. Presumably it caps out at some point, so I'm not sure how long you have to play to be able to get that kind of discount on it. But that's pretty good. And if you go check on another item as well, let's check out maybe something in the reissued area, like this. Uh, yeah, so this this is crazy. It goes from 24 hours to 0 seconds. Literally instant. Which, I don't know, that, that seems pretty cool to me. Being able to just instantly uh, make an item. I do actually have a few items here I should make. I'll make this flask of doing this and see if it's instant. Yeah, so it goes from 8 hours and 3 minutes to instant. Let's try that out. And there it is. It's done. That's pretty neat. I mean, I could see how that could be worth 3 bucks a month if you play the game a lot. It's not really that... I mean, the old way, you would have had to have paid tickets to be able to speed that up. I don't know how many that would have. That could have easily been like 30, 40 tickets to speed that up. Maybe more. I don't remember, like, that alone is a couple dollars. So, like, if you would speed up one item the entire month, that basically pays for it, if you're into that, if you don't like waiting. So that's not bad. Although, as I said, I don't know how good that is based on how long you've been playing. Alright, so I think that basically covers all the benefits of the Happy Helper plan. Yeah, that, that, that basically covers it. So, the other one, perhaps more interesting, given it's the more expensive one, is going to be the cookie and depot plan. So let's check that one out. So we're supposed to get five cookies and store items in warehouses. So let's go check out the fortune cookie shop. I'm assuming that's where we'll be going to get to the members only shop. Oh, you click the button there. Okay. All right. Ooh, fancy. Wow. So this is it. So every one of these cookies we can pick from. That's that's neat. Shows us right there all the usual information. And this is there. So how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty, twenty-five, 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 twenty-five. Wow. Okay. That's that's quite a lot of that's quite a lot of cookies. Now, it said almost all of them. Now, I'm wondering what's missing. I have a little bit of a theory, which I'm going to confirm here. My guess is it might be everything but the Sanrio ones. Sanrio ones, just because they might have had a contract that they couldn't bring those back. Are those in here anywhere? I don't have all the icons memorized, but I'm pretty sure they're not in here. Yeah, I don't see them in here. I don't quite know this is everything minus those. I feel like there's still been more cookies in the game than this. But I can't say with certainty. Well, because these were the original ones. I remember Rosie's and Stitches and Hopkins and all that. 
But yeah, anyway, so let's pick one out here. What would I like that I haven't gotten any of? I was always a fan of Julian's. I never got as many of those as I would have liked. So let's try getting one of those. So we'll just do this. And then I'll see like use one of our tokens or whatnot. Let's see what we got. Probably trash. Yep, yeah, it looks like looks like trash. If I already got that. That's really not what I would have liked. Oh, so you do get also do get points for your stamp card when you do it for this. That's good to know. Well, that was a disaster. Let's pick out another one. I was always a fan of Lily's cookie, but I think I've got most of the things. I never did it to the cloud or the gazebo, and I could always use more hedges. So I'm gonna do this and just hold out hope for the cloud or the gazebo. I always wanted those. It's one of the few cookies that I actually bought a substantial amount of once upon a time when it first came out. That's got. Oh, all right. Hedges are cool. I like the hedges. You can never have too many of those. And, I mean, just to keep things interesting, let's do one more. I mean, why not? I don't have any of these newish ones. Mm. I really don't care for a lot of these. Muffy's was a cute one, though. I'm still missing a few things from that. We'll try a muffin one. Let's see what we get here. Oh, what do we got? Oh, alright, pretty neat. I didn't have one of those actually already, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, so that's basically the members only fortune cookie shop that you get access to with the cookie and depot pack. So you see there's quite a few here. This isn't, I'm pretty sure again, this is not every fortune cookie in the game, but it's certainly a lot more than you would ever get access to at a time. Normally they only have about four or five newish ones and then maybe a couple of restocked ones at a time. So it's definitely a lot more selection. Um, so that's pretty neat. So if you're into fortune cookies, not bad there. And then the last thing I'm really interested in to see, cause they didn't get much information on us, is the warehouses feature. That's what I really want to see. So assuming that's gonna be, all right, there it is at the end there. So this is a feature that you get included with the Cooking Depot pack. This is probably the most controversial thing they've added in this description is because this is basically a paywalled feature. Like the other things, cookies, well, everybody can get cookies. It's just a few older ones. You know, her, the fauna following you around, not really a big deal, but this is a straight up paywall feature, basically. You're not gonna get this unless you pay $7.99 a month, which is pretty steep to be honest. I mean. Pretty sure that's more than what a Nintendo Online subscription costs for Switch. So it's going to cost you more money per month to store these items and get fortune cookies per month than it will cost you to play Animal Crossing New Horizons online in March. That's a little ridiculous. So let's check it out. Store items. So what limits? So, okay, as long as I'm, okay, so I'm wearing those, of course I can. Favorite items. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, let's just put, I guess you can literally put any. I was under the impression this might only be for fortune cooking items, but it looks like you can put in literally everything. No search button still. I always would have liked one of those. Oh, can we multi-select? Oh, we can, okay. Is that a special feature? Can you multi-select things normally in Pocky? I feel like that you normally can't. Oh, wow, okay. So they get colors, they're color coded and numbered, so like you could sort things into different ones depending on what you want. But okay, the multi-select, that's pretty neato. I'm picking multiples here because from the preview that I saw of this, from the information they released, you can do something, it unlocks sort of an interesting thing we haven't had it before in Pocket Camp. So I'm just gonna pick a few more things out and then I promise I will Get away from this. Do I have any like absurd multiples for the, from the fortune cookies I could put in here? Not really. Ah, uh, yes, some orange hats. I had more orange hats. Put those in though. And then I don't want to make this go too long. 
maybe a pile of flower pots. You know, we've always got, from some old events, I went absolutely nuts on the amount of them. Oh yeah, look at this. That's nuts. All right. It's pretty neat that we can put them all in there that fast. All right, so let's check it out. So we go back. I'll just give some information. I should have read this first. Whoops. You can use furniture, you can store it in there. You can take out, you can start by thousand. If you cancel, they'll still be stored and you can take them out, but you can't add. So that's good to know. You're not gonna get gypped. So like, I mean, that's a strategy. I mean, if you have a lot of items that you think you'll rarely use, but you wanna hang on to them, you could, I'm assuming based on this, you could pay for a month of the subscription and then um, store all those things in there. And then you could stop paying and as long as you don't need to take them out, if you just want to store them just for the sake of it, you know, yeah, I mean, you might take a couple of them out every once in a while, but if a lot of them might stay in there for months at a time, you could just leave them in there and you won't have to pay. That's interesting. Um, okay. Wait, what, wait, wait hold, hold on a second. It's also said you may be able to use more warehouse future updates, so they might add more. That's interesting. And then, so I really want to do is manage. So let's go look. This is what I'm curious about. Yeah, so this right here, I think, is going to be one of the main reasons that people would want to use this feature. I don't know about you, but the most annoying thing about Animal Crossing Pocket Camp's inventory has always been that they don't stack items. I've never understood why they never implemented this. I mean, most games with a lot of inventory do this, although I guess Animal Crossing doesn't usually. Oh, it does for fruit and a few things, so that's not true, actually. Um, so the items are actually now stacked, so... I can now see I've got three of these and two of these, five each of these flowers, and I have to scroll through a giant list because you know what it's like if you've got a million of these flowers and all these other items you have repeats of. When you're scrolling through your list normally, it's a real, real pain. And here they're just nicely sorted. So, I mean, I didn't put much in here, but I mean, on a normal podcast screen, this would fill up the entire screen here basically just doing this. I'm a big fan of this. And then I guess I can just go, oh, okay. Um, the lanterns will actually want to take out three of these, and I just press OK. Oh, we can do multiple at once, so I can say I want one of those, and then two of these, and three of these, and then press move, and it does it all at once. Oh, wait, that's just to move between them. Okay, so, wrong menu. I want to take them out. I'm assuming the same thing will apply. Yeah, here, so I can go, I want two of those, I want all four of these, I want half of these. I'm going to say one of these and two of these, and then I'm going to say remove. So that's pretty cool. That 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 Even if you don't need extra inventory space, because I never really felt a pocket camp really limited you to begin with, um, at least you'll have a uh, far easier way to organize them. So that's pretty important. And I believe it also says something about that you could... I don't know if I misunderstood... Does it say you can stop store items currently using? Does it say you can use furniture item that is closed? Like, does that mean you can put clothes in there, but then still use them even though you're in the closing? I want to test that out. Um, let's see, I'll put my... That hat in there, the fireworks headband. I just want to confirm that that's really how it works, because that would be a pretty big deal, too. So can I now clip that still? Um, that's, oh, is that, no, that's not it, I'm an idiot. I have too many damn hats, but I'm not seeing it in here. So I might be misunderstanding that one, sorry guys. Oops. Yeah, not seeing any evidence of that. So that might just be being an idiot. Not sure, I'll have to confirm that another time. Um, but anyway, I think that basically covers everything there is to know about Pocket Camp Club. And I'm across Pocket Camp. This got really long-winded. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know who the hell's gonna watch it. So if you actually made it to the end of this, like, bravo. Because this was a disaster. I uh, did not intend for this at all. But hopefully that gives you a really good idea of everything you're getting out of uh, Pocket Camp Club, either plan. Again, so the Cookie Depot plan, that's seven nine in a month. You get to pick five cookies, a big old shop. Get the warehouse feature and your crafting times are way shorter. Um, and then there's the happy helper plan, which gives you 60 tickets a month. You can walk around, they'll follow you around, they'll complete your requests for you. Um, they'll gather items for events, and then I get the same thing, and that's $2.99 a month. Um, one more other thing, you also get access to the Pocket Camp Journal. I think it's meant to be a newsletter. I really don't see how this is going to be worthwhile. I mean, they said they'd have previews of like 
um, upcoming items, but like, I mean, all that's gonna happen is one person who subscribes is gonna take a picture, post it on Reddit, or or like someone like me, if I subscribe to this, I'll take the screenshots and post them on the Animal Crossing World Twitter, and then everyone will have them, so that seems silly. Um, oh, there's a special wallpaper, but again, the same idea. You know, it's, you don't really need a, uh, yeah, that's, oh, this is cute. They actually have buttons at the bottom to say what you think, so you can say, oh, I don't like this. Wow, that's brutal. People actually take advantage of that. So next time they post about updating Gulliver and doing something dumb, they're gonna get all those downvotes on that. I don't even see the preview that they were talking about. They said there would be previews in here, but I'm pretty sure there's no previews in here that I'm seeing. So that's a little underwhelming. Yeah, I don't really see much value in that. But everything else makes sense. Uh, it also says nine days until you're gift, which makes it sound like the gift resets on the first every month, not every 30 days if you're planned. So if you time it right, you can actually get six, can you maybe get 60 tickets twice with one month paid? Like, so everyone who signs up to draw right now, they might actually get 60 now and 60 in nine days. That would be quite crazy if it works that way. Not sure if it does. And then finally, one other interesting thing, it's kind of neat, they actually show you a count here uh, under your under the under the player here. It shows how many days on the job, I guess how many days since you started your account. 750 day days for me, that's pretty nuts. I think I started with the Australian like pre-release beta thing. And I think they show you that because that, I'm assuming that changes how much you get out of the uh, crafting duration thing. But anyhow, I mean, I don't think there's really much more to show here. She moves around with me. I wish I could do the whole um, change animals. Oh, yeah, you can turn this off. That's good. If you want. I like it on. It's kind of cute. And then you can get rid of her or change the animal. I'm curious. Where? I'm not sure exactly where you triggered the whole... Um, report but I'm, I already did that earlier when I started so I'm assuming it won't let me do that for another three hours so anyway I think that basically covers it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching all of the edits if you really did um, I hope you guys uh, learned something from this and let me know in the comments below if you watch this if you managed to watch this whole thing uh, whether you're gonna subscribe what you think of the plans if you're gonna get either plan which one do you think it's a huge waste of money or do you think it's worth it hopefully you got a good idea after watching this whether it's worth it or not thanks for watching bye bye